What's up guys? Today we're gonna be reading a really creepy text conversation from the Yarn app called Bruises. I heard this was the spookiest of the spook and I wanted to see it for myself. Also, it's 2 in the morning and I really don't want to go to sleep tonight, so I hope this helps. I haven't been talking about it because I feel like everybody talks about it, but I've been seeing like stuff around this house. There's something going on. There's ghosts. There's something. You know what I'm talking about when you like turn your head and you see some like black shadow walking down the hall. Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. <laughs> Like I've been hearing footsteps upstairs when nobody's upstairs. I'll be sitting in my room and then I'll hear my dogs barking at something. And it's like they look outside the window. Like no, nobody's there. Nobody's there, but they're barking at something. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, this is the yarn app if you guys don't have it already. There's a bunch of scary stories, a bunch of funny stories. If you guys want to read these for yourself, make sure you download the yarn app. The link is in the description below. Anyways, today we are reading a bruises. So David's like, mom, where's the Advil? We don't have any. What kind of household don't have Advil? Dad and I can pick some up. Up on the way home from dinner. Okay, so mom and daddy are on a date. David's home alone. Mom's like, but we're running a little late. I wonder why. Fine. Dang, okay. Smack my son if you talk to me like that. Mom's like, are you okay? You sound mad. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. I'm not mad. I'm just sad. And, and I need Advil. I'm just tired of waking up with bruises. Bruh. Who wakes up with bruises? Ah, I hit my bed frame. Ah, I hit my chair. Ugh. I'm tired of getting bruises for making videos. Ow. Okay, I'll stop. We gotta make this a little creepy. <laughs> I know, sweetie. We will figure it out this week. Something tells me mommy doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it just hurts mom so much. Bruises don't hurt. It, unless you touch them. So stop touching them. I wake up in so much pain. Try to get some sleep. First no Advil. Then mommy doesn't care. <laughs> I am trying. It seems like you're trying to text. Don't, it doesn't seem like you're trying. You guys need to fix the air conditioning. <laughs> First I need Advil. Now you guys gotta fix the AC. David, why don't you get off your ass? You get a job. You get a car. You go buy the Advil. You go fix the AC. Or just move out. It's so loud. Even worse. You gotta fix the AC because it's so loud. Maybe turn off the AC so it's not so loud. <laughs> we are working on it. Me and your daddy are doing the best we could. One minute later. Mom. Yes, David. Is someone else in the house? Bruh, it's your house and your parents' house. I think you would know who's in the house. No. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> I hear this quiet snapping sound. Is that where the bruises came from? <laughs> Something's dripping on me! <laughs> Could be the air conditioning. I'm scared, Mom. Show me what you're seeing. Like, FaceTime me? Bruh! Hell no! Hell no! Bye! On me. There's hands out of the ceiling and it's dripping. Turn off your flashlight. Yo, this is the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Do not take your hands or feet off the bed. Oh my god, so this is why I tell you the bookie monster is under your bed. Once once something gets off the bed, they can snatch it. Listen to me and you will get out of this. <gasps> what mom? What now? Mom, I think I see a face! OMG, look! I don't want to see another pic. I don't want to see another pic. Come on, come on. I I'm already spooked. Oh! There's there's another episode. Episode 2. I still hear it. WTF is happening. Answer my calls! Damn, Mommy left you to die and went out to dinner with Daddy. Oh, okay. Okay. What a good mom. David, please stay calm and listen to me. Seriously, just, just hide under your... Just hide under your blankets. Hide in your bed. He, he can't hurt you in your bed. Just... Just go to sleep, listen to mom. I would. Are your hands and feet on the bed? Yes, damn, I'd be hella stiff like. I ain't moving, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna piss in my bed if I have to. <laughs> okay, do not move. When somebody tells you do not move, you really wanna move. He picks up movement and light. <sighs> Bruh. He 
The family that lived in our house before us had a blind child. One day, the child was playing with crayons. He drew all over the walls, made a mess. He gonna get an ass beating. <laughs> the father was punishing the child, and, and he punished him too hard. The child died and lived in the AC unit, and I already know where this is going. Come on, mom. Type, type a little faster. He beat his eight-year-old blind son to death. You could have just spanked him and painted over the walls, but, but no. And we had to move in to a house where a blind eight-year-old died. Why, mom? Why would you do this to me? First, there's no Advil. Then you're gonna move into a house with a dead, blind eight-year-old ghost that, like, haunts and... I hate my life. <laughs> I'd be miserable too. I wouldn't be able to sleep if I was David too. And I'm worried about my bruises that hurt. Oh, he beat his son to death by accident. Sorry, we should probably read this before moving on. By accident. How are you gonna beat your kid to death by accident? <laughs> Jesus, that's not even the worst part. They hid his body in the floorboards of the house. Reported him missing. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Like when we first moved in the house I mean, I would have liked to know if there was a dead body living in the floorboards that I'm walking on every day We didn't think he would come back. What do I do now? The blind boy survives by attaching himself to a human <sighs> The reason he's been grabbing you at night is to see that you're human and not a chair or something. Right now, you cannot move. I mean, as long as like you stay on your bed, if, like your foot hangs off the edge, ooh, your foot's done, it's over. That kid gonna grab your foot, drag you off the bed. Then what, do you die or does he just stay alive? Do not turn on light because that will anger him. Is he still blind? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he chose you for some reason and hasn't done that in many years. The last person he chose was his father. What happened to his dad? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> oh my God. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I just read part three. I don't wanna spoil the rest of it for you. If you guys wanna know what happens in part three, make sure you download the Yarn app. The download link is in the description below and you can read part three of Bruises. <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.